English, baby. I was listening to NPR yesterday, mm-hmm. and there was a quite a long report about this Starbucks that's in the Forbidden City. Yep, Beijing. Um, which some people are really adamantly against, and other people are like, oh, it's no big deal. What, what do you think about that? It's interesting because it kind of parallels. My friend just went down to Texas. She wants to move from Portland to Texas because in their okay. churches, they have Starbucks. And the way oh. the way that she sees it is, you know, it's not really compromising the integrity of a place of worship as much as it is keeping with the times because everyone's all about convenience Fair and enough. retail. Fair enough. But, I mean, don't, don't you think that there, has to be, there have to be some places... That are sacred? Yeah, I mean... You I do, but how do you... Out there. How and where do you draw the line, I suppose? Well, and I guess to me it comes down to, like, demand. Like, if people don't want to support the business, then they need to stop going, you know? And That's then the true. business won't be a success. But I hear people complain, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't like McDonald's, I don't like Starbucks, yet. Yet. When it's the closest thing to their home or to their house, they'll walk there instead of walking another two blocks to a local coffee shop, Absolutely, for absolutely. So they feel one yeah. way, but their actions say another. But I personally have a problem with there being a Starbucks in the forbidden. So what do you think? Do you think that particular shop will shut down after all this settles? I think it probably will. Okay, we'll see. Want to bet on it? I'll bet you a latte. All right. Okay. <laughs>